Mistios, please. I could use your help. What seems to be the problem? There is serious unrest in Kedonia, Mistios. The guards and merchants are at each other's throats. The guards are here to serve the locals. What's got them riled up? <sighs> taxes. The merchants refuse to pay the increased taxes, and the guards all too gleefully extract them. Their captain, Theocles, is more a bandit than a guard. This unrest is bad for business. I need you to quiet some of the outbursts around Kildonia. A power-mad captain? Civil unrest? Sounds like serious work. <laughs> which would be seriously rewarded. I have precious gems which I'm sure would appeal to someone such as yourself. I'd be happy to help. <laughs> Good. That you will find the areas of tension around the Agora, the Eastern Market, and the docks. Is there anything else I can tell you? Should I use any means necessary to end this unrest? <sighs> Ever the Mistios, where a blade is the answer to all things. Yes, one way to quell the unrest is to kill everyone involved. But sometimes, simply talking will yield the best results. If the cause of all this is increased taxes, wouldn't it be easier to lower them? Don't you know all of the Greek world is at war? War is expensive, and Gidonia needs fleets. She needs armies. We cannot be left defenseless. You mentioned the guard captain, Theocles. Who is he? <laughs> Not a man of the people, Mistios. It's at his encouragement the guards put so much pressure on the merchants. I've heard everything I need to hear. Do what you must to bring order, but watch your back. There are people who seek to benefit from this civil unrest. And we're counting on you, Mistios. Justice, Mistios! That doesn't sound like justice to me! Why do you care? These are the families of the guards who beat us and harass us. This is what they deserve! These increased taxes are ridiculous. They choke the very life out of us. We must stand. We must fight! There's no need for violence. We can talk this over. Talk? They've smashed our wares. They've beaten us. They have, yes. And maybe they should pay, but this family has done nothing. This child has done nothing. They're innocent. But a lesson must be learned. We must teach them not to mess with us. This is not the way. They paid you off, didn't they? You, you work for them. Have it your way, Mistios. The woman and her child will not be harmed, but we're not done with you. We have our own scary mercenaries. I need to sell these. My family's livelihood depends on it. What's going on here? This Malaka needs to pay his taxes like everyone else. Otherwise, we'll smash every last pot in the Agora. Captain Diocles orders. Leave the merchant alone. You've done enough. Ha! You itching for a beating, Mistios? We'll just have to smash you, too. I <laughs> Release our goods at once. 
You can't do this. What Malacca city is this? Where the guards prey on their own people. It's simple. You avoid your taxes, we take your stuff. Now, step away. Or what? Mistios, please. Talk some sense into these idiots. If we aren't allowed to continue doing our business, the economy of Kidonia will fall to ruin. This does not concern you, Mistios. This is the law of the land. If they give up the goods, all will end well. Laws are for the weak. People should live freely. These merchants won't pay you a single drachmi. You will regret this. Kill the Mistios! You must be mad if you're going to drop a book. There's more drachmi than the military. This is where you die. Malaka, what happened here? Looks like Captain Diocles denied me my payment. Captain had the decency to keep my gems on him. Never stand between Amistios and her payday.
I offer freedom and Drachmi to everyone on my crew, including you. Kere, something I can help you with? Eagle bearer, you're gutsy to show your face around these parts after killing the wolf of Sparta. Finishing one job won't stop me from looking for another. The wolf might be dead, but that is in the past. I admire your courage, Mistios. It's why I'm here. What do you have in mind? Thanks to you, the Spartans are more vulnerable than ever. You've leveled the playing field. With the wolf out of the way, now's our chance to strike. So you want me to gut every single Spartan? Exactly, my friend. All right, I'll do it. The gods are smiling on me, then. You can leave everything to me. I told you to be careful with it! You were the one not paying attention! What did you say? Nothing! You're absolutely perfect, boss! Something happened to your shipment? Huh? Did something happen to your shipment? Yes! Idiots happened! They dropped it and shattered my obsidian glass! You were carrying it too! Did you say something, whelp? I said, curse those clumsy fools! Exactly! Now I need more obsidian. If you can bring me some, Mistios, my finest blade shall be yours. Do we have a deal? This should be enough. You are well stocked. You a merchant or a Mistios, eh? <laughs> ah, excellent! This will do fine. Here you go, Mistios, as promised. Out of sight. Ha! 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 
You're back. Have you killed them? I took care of them. Every last one. You've helped me more than you know. Take this. I always finish what I've started. What do you need? Peace of mind and revenge. Can you bring me this, Mistios? We will give you all the drachmi we have. I need more information first. The followers of Ares are burning our villages and claiming our families for their sacrifices. Those Malakes are making trouble all over the Greek world. That's why I want you to make them suffer like we have. So our living can find peace and our dead can be... be avenged. My spear is yours. Thank you, Mistios. You have no idea how much this means to us. I'll need to know where the followers are hiding. The followers of Ares live in caves among the mountain ranges of Zeus's playground. I'll flush them out.
For your kindness. I never thought I'd be free. That's your honesty. You've got to free me before those vultures peck my eyes out. Not to mention the wolves. I saw them in the bushes earlier. You called me Mystios. You must know my help comes at a price. 
You don't look like you're in much of a position to pay. Why it's... Hear me out. The people who did this to me, they took everything I had and left me for dead. They've got plenty of other treasures and trinkets at their hideouts, too. Free me, and I'll tell you where to find them. Quick, Mistios, untie me. <sighs> My luckiest wolves. <laughs> You saved me! Bless you! You're alive and free. Now, tell me about my reward. Those Malakis took my only prized possession, a family heirloom, an amulet handed down from my mother. They keep their spoils underwater in a cave just west of here. Which one of the thugs took your amulet? The leader, a burly man with a huge axe, wears it now. Take his head, and the amulet is yours to keep. Who left you like this? The followers of Ares. I joined them thinking I could get rich quick. But the sacrifices and murders, Mistios, it's terrible. I tried to sneak away with some of their stuff. And got caught. You've got to kill them all, Mistios. They're crazy. You deserted the followers of Ares and expect to live? What's your plan? I assumed I'd become carrion. But wait. Maybe... I don't like the sound of this. How... how about I work for you? I know how to fight. The followers of Ares gave me that much, at least. What do you say? Okay, you work for me now. I don't see much value in you, but it's better than nothing. I'll see you back at your ship then, Commander. Not before putting on some clothes. Here we are.
amulet will work perfectly. My love will look beautiful. This must be the amulet the naked man was going on about. Huh. It looks expensive. The followers of Ares are with Hades now. Thank you, Mistyos. How can we repay you? Aera there is Imaton. You can't put a price on justice. Those men deserved the end they got. You gave us something that Achmi can't buy. Peace. For that, we will be forever grateful. But we cannot leave you without sowing our gratitude. Please take this. I have no need for it any longer. about the code of Gordin in the Agogi as a child. Mister. What's going on? This job will be dangerous and could get us both killed. All my jobs are dangerous. This job is about power. The power to rule Gortin by starting a war. We can't start a war on our own. We'll need supporters and soldiers. I have support from the captain of the army and the region's upper class. Okay. Then tell me your plan. I am the head of the Bull Council, and according to our code, after a war is lost, the Council chooses our next leader. Me. And you need some heads to roll to get things started. Just one head. There's a visiting herald from Festos. No doubt here to broker peace with Cortin. His murder will guarantee that war is the only option for Gordin. 
and my fee? You'll be paid very handsomely for your efforts. I'll start the war for you. But first, I need more information. Before the war can truly begin, we'll need your help weakening Gordon. Destroy their supplies, steal their valuables, and kill that Malacca's visiting herald. Where can I find the visiting herald? This man of peace stays at the leader house at night and wanders around Gortin during the day. Kill him, and Gortin will be blamed for his murder. Tell me about the supplies I should destroy. The weapon racks and supplies in Thedalos Fort must be destroyed to ensure they don't win the war. There's plenty of valuables to be found in Thedalos Fort. Stealing from there will hurt the Gordon war effort most. I'll start this war for you. I hope you know what you're doing. We've been planning this for a while. See me when everything is complete. I see him.
It's done. Gortin is weak and ready for new leadership. Praise the gods. Here is a reward for your troubles. After war, the Bull Council chooses a new leader. the deal to offer you, if you're open to a business partnership. I'm a Mystios. I don't share glory. All the glory will be yours, I assure you. I only mean to hire you for a job. What exactly did you have in mind? I craft bows from rare, exotic items. I've been commissioned to make one using only the finest quality fangs. One from a lynx, one from a lioness, and one from a shark. I could make one for you too, if you'll help. I'll fetch the fangs for you if you tell me where to find them. Those sharks have teeth, not fangs. A mere technicality. A fang bow sounds better. Now, there were questions? If you want a lynx's fang, I'll need a heading. Of course. Lynxes can be found north of the lost Minoan shrine, in Zeus's playground. <laughs> and be careful, they're feisty. A lioness? In Crete? As luck would have it, one is being transported for a rich man on the road from Festos village to Gortin city. Where can I find sharks around here? Perhaps you've heard of the ocean? Octopus Bay! Uh, try Octopus Bay! It's full of the cursed things. I'll get them for you. Thank you, Mystios. Have you forgotten where to look for the animals and their sharp, shiny fangs? I'll get them for you. Thank you, Mystios. If you want a lynx's fang... Of course! Lynxes can be found north of the lost Minoan shrine, in Zeus's playground. <laughs> and be careful. Where can I find sh... Perhaps you've heard of Octopus Bay. Uh, try Octopus Bay. I'll get them for... Thank you, Mr.
all the fangs I'll ever need. I should return to the boyer. Mistios, my humble hands have been commissioned to craft a bow using but a single fang from each a lioness, a lynx, and a shark. Do you have any? I have the fangs you need, if you're willing to negotiate a fair price for them. Of course. I know the value of a good tooth. Would your own mighty bow, crafted from fangs, be considered a fair price? It would have great bite. Deal. A bow worthy of Artemis. What's on your mind, old man? I'm dying, Mistios. I can feel it in my bones. But first, there's something I need to do. Will you help an old man fulfill his dying wish? I can offer you what drachmi I have left. I won't deny an old man his final wish. What is it? I always promised my wife I'd take her to see the red flowers on the summit of the mountain in Zeus's playground. It's a beautiful place. Great view. But she met the ferryman before me, Mistios. I never made good on my promise. It was always one thing or another, you know? Children, war, what have you. If you tried harder, she might have gotten to see the view. I tell myself that every day. So, what do you want me to do? I need you to pick some of those red flowers for me from the summit of Mount Ida. So I can take them to my wife when I meet Hades. Just a few would do. Bring them back to me here. I'll be waiting, Mistios. And I don't have long. I understand.
Shit. Oh, this must be the place the old man spoke of. There it is. The flower. The flowers? I should hurry back to the old man near Gortin. Legendary Knossos. Once palace to King Minos. Hades claims another. In all my life, I've never seen him so peaceful. I hope he's found matter. Those flowers, are they...? Yes. He asked me to fetch them. <laughs> you silly old man. Is this why you left Pefka? To fetch matter flowers so far from home? <laughs> you silly, stubborn old man. Here. Thank you so much, Miss Dios. He made a promise to his wife, and I made a promise to him. I don't have anything to offer you. Mater must be so glad you brought her flowers. You never did when she was alive. Thank the gods. Mystios, I need your help. What's the problem? We've been ravaged by storms and rough seas. Poseidon is angry. Have you tried making an offering? A simple offering isn't enough to appease him. We need to perform a ritual, but we can't do it without our ceremonial axe. Sounds like you need to find that axe for Poseidon. I do, but not for Poseidon. For swordfish. Swordfish? Who's that? He's the one who ordered us to conduct this ritual every month. He runs the fish market. I can't say anymore. No one talks about swordfish and gets away with it, Mistios. What if I insist? Then I insist you retrieve the axe for me. You insist? No, no. Politely request. And of course, there'll be plenty of drachmi for your help, Mistios. Do you know where the axe is? 
Bandits took it. There's a cave east of town. If you follow the path along the shoreline, I'm sure you'll find them. I'll go take a look. And don't swing it around. It's a delicate ceremonial axe. Here we are. Let's go. <laughs> Best stay out of sight. Must be the axe. Doesn't look like it can cut anything. Need something else to find that axe, Mystios? Who is this swordfish you want to impress? He'll kill me if I tell you. And I'll kill you if you don't. Swordfish has always run the fish market with an iron fist. Charges the fishermen fees. If they don't pay up, the sharks eat well. 
Why do you fear Swordfish? Everyone does, Mistyos. He's not to be trifled with. Once, he took a man's nose off for sneezing in his presence. Quite the reputation. Point me in Swordfish's direction. I don't know where he is. No one's seen him for years, Mistyos. Some think he's dead. Just last week, some fishermen boldly said we should no longer pay fees to a dead man. Guess who's dead now? I'll take my chances. Where is he? He used to live at Fisherman's Beacon to the north. You could try your luck there. This axe would fetch a good price at the Aura. No, you can't sell it. Give it back. I'll pay you. Take all the drachmi I have. The axe was yours to begin with. Take it. You had me worried, Mistyos. Thank you. I owe you my life.